Hello, hello, and welcome to On The Yard. I'm your host, Amari Dennis. And I'm your host, Brittany Peterson. If you're not familiar with On The Yard, it's a student-produced show about what's happening on the yard here at UMES. That's right. Here at On The Yard, we keep you guys informed about what's going on around campus and in the community. For our first of many shows to come, we went on the yard to the First Look Fair. This event took place on the first floor of the SSC. It's where all the organizations around campus come together to represent what they do here at UMES. That's right. Let's take a closer look now into what we covered at this year's First Look Fair. Sandra J and we're right here on the yard. Now we're here at the First Look Fair and the First Look Fair is basically about all the organizations right here on campus. Now which organization will you join or which organization will run the yard this semester? So come with me as I ask a few people a few questions right here on the yard. I'm sitting with Miss Holmes and she's a part of the AKAs. Now Miss Holmes, what are, what are your plans for the semester? Uh, our plans for the semester are our, our we have a small chapter here on campus because this is a rebuilding season for us. We have currently two active uh, undergraduate uh, members and we're hoping that we're going to be rebuilding the chapter and having uh, a MIP, which is a membership intake process, sometime this fall. In fact, we have one coming up September 28th. It'll be over here in the Student Services Center. Probably be on something about nutrition or diet and health or physical safety. Okay. Okay, Hawk family. Keep out on the lookout for September 28th for the AKAs, right here on The Yard. Now, tell our Hawk family about your organization. Uh, we the bros of Omega Psi Phi Pi Epsilon Chapter. You know what I'm saying? Omega Psi Phi was started November 17th, 1911. A couple cardinal principles, manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. Now, what are your plans for the semester? Semester. This is going to be a real good semester. We got a lot of events coming up. We got the Madden Tournament coming up September 27th. We got our Women's Health Seminar coming up September 30th. Um, we have a fish fry coming up in about three weeks. Um, we got the, the, the Halloween party coming up. Everybody know about the Halloween party. And the last question that all the Hawk family wants to know is, who do you think will run the yard this semester? This semester, the same people that ran it last semester, same people that ran it the semester before. The bros don't have to be on the yard to run the semester. Okay, Hawk family, you heard it from here. The Q Dogs may run the yard this semester. You're right here on the yard, and I'm your girl, Sandra J. Brittany from On The Yard and we are here today at the First Look Fair. We're going to interview some organizations so come on and let's go check them out. Hey everyone, we're here with my favorite organization On The Yard, Star Status, and today we have Mrs. Star Status herself, Miriam. Hi, how are you guys doing? Great. Miriam, can you please tell us a little bit about the First Look Fair and what Star Status is offering today? Right now we're going to show you the events that we're going to be doing this semester, throughout the semester, such as Sunday's Best, the Pink, which is our, our Paint the Sky Pink Week, which was our biggest event last year. And what we're trying to do this year is the All Black Party for Breast Cancer. It's basically everybody wears all black, you're going to be surrounded by pink. So it's putting breast cancer in the dark, but bringing it to the light. And it's helping raise some more money for it. Thank you so much, Miriam, for your time. We're here with Andre. Andre, can you please tell us a little bit about your organization today? Sure. Um, my, my name is Andre Eaton. I am the junior class president of the SGA here at UMES. And pretty much what we are about is pretty much bridging the gap between education and career for the junior class. Okay, wonderful, Andre. Can you please tell us what you all have planned for this semester? Some of the activities that we have planned for this semester are resume building workshop, blitz, um, cover letters. We have an informational sessions about how to dress and uh, interviews, mock interviews, different things. We have uh, fun activities. We have a taco night. We have um, a trip to the Great Blacks and Wax Museum in Baltimore. We have skating trips and we also have prom redo. Something new that we started last year that carried over to this year is that Mr. Um, the HBCU Best Dance Crew sponsored by the junior class. Wonderful. So you guys are pretty much going to take over the classes this year, huh? Oh, we got it in the bag. <laughs> 
Well, everybody, you heard from Mr. Andre from the junior class. Hey, everybody, I'm here with... Marissa Templeman. Monet Smith. Okay, ladies, and welcome to the First Look Fair. Can you tell me what you like most about the First Look Fair today? I like the different types of organizations that they have, mostly the sorority ones and the human ecology. Wonderful. How about you? Star status, and I also like the little fraternities in the back going on over there in the Caribbean International Club. Okay, so which organization do y'all feel offered the most today? I say the Caribbean Club for now. Okay, the Caribbean Club. How about you? I agree. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time, and this is On The Yard, and you ladies have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to On The Yard at the First Look Fair. I'm your host, Brittany, and this is a wrap. The First Look Fair was, as you can see, had a great turnout. All the organizations did a fantastic job, and there seemed to be a lot of people interested in joining one. That's right, Amari. If you didn't make it to the First Look Fair, but you are interested in joining an organization here on campus, allow yourself to be known, either by going to one of the organization's interest meetings or by speaking to someone that's actively involved on campus. That's great advice, Brett. Now, before we get out of here, we'd like to read an email sent to us by Corey from D.C. The email reads, how do I manage my schedule here at school? So many distractions. Brittany, I'll let you answer that first. Well, Corey, that's a great question. But you must first keep in mind you're here for an education. Party time will come later. Amari, what would you tell Corey? <laughs> distractions may occur in the field, soldier. So like Brittany said, prioritize your time. Know that partying is on the back burner and education is on the front. That's right, Amari. Well... That's all the time we have today. Make sure you guys hit us up on Facebook. Search On The Yard, or you can hit us up at YouTube, www.youtube.com forward slash discoveryoumes, and we can read and answer any questions or comments you have and give you our best advice. Until next time, I'm Omari Dennis. And I'm your host, Brittany Peterson, signing off from On The Yard. <laughs> Peace.